The Queen put on a vibrant appearance as she attended the sixth ceremonial opening of the Senate today. The monarch arrived alongside the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall as they visited the Welsh Parliament building in Cardiff. Dressed in a pink coat and matching hat, the royal cut a colourful figure as she made her way down the red carpet with a walking stick. Prince Charles wore a mask throughout the event, while the Queen went mask-free inside the venue. It is not clear why there was an inconsistency in the royals wearing masks. Buckingham Palace told Wales Online that arrangements complied with current Scottish Covid regulations and guidance. When asked whether the Queen would wear a mask or was exempt, the palace said, having worked closely with the palace, all arrangements for this event comply with current Welsh Government Covid regulations and guidance. The Queen wore a diamond daffodil brooch in a nod to the National Flower of Wales. In her speech, the monarch admitted that the pandemic had brought people closer together, and closed the speech by giving her heartfelt thank you in Welsh. Meanwhile, Camilla looked radiant in a red coat dress and coordinating hat, smiling as she ascended the red carpet with Prince Charles who wore a mask. It is the first time the royal has visited Wales in five years. The event was due to take place shortly after the election in May, but was delayed because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Queen made a speech in the Senate chamber, followed by addresses from Wales's First Minister Mark Drakeford and Senate Speaker Ellie Jones. Mr Drakeford said the Queen opening the Senate marks the significance of the Parliament in the nation. He told Sky News, decisions are made in four different parliaments and I know the Queen has always taken very seriously the job that she does in marking that. As I say, she's never missed an opening of a new Senate term and despite the circumstances, and her age, she will be making that effort again today.